Hello everyone, I'm the chairman of the board and I welcome you all to another episode of Random Crap I Bought on Steam. Uh, today we're gonna play a game called Nut Tonight. This is a sort of... Well, I've seen this game compared to Papers, Please. Which sounded promising to me because Papers, Please was a really good game, as I think pretty much anyone who played it will agree with me. Now, this is somewhat of a more politically relevant version of Papers, Please, a bit more topical. As it's set in a dystopian, futuristic version of Great Britain, where the whole country has kind of fallen to an ultra-nationalist dictatorship uh, as a consequence of it leaving the European Union. Uh, as I said, very ultra-nationalist, very kind of rightist um, dystopia. So, as I understand, this is basically the anti-fascist version of Papers, Please. Uh, which sounds promising to say the least. Uh, we are severely lacking in games with that sort of topic, though today, especially in Europe, well, but also in America, uh, it's more relevant than it has been for a very long time. So I'm really looking forward to seeing just how this game approaches that sort of topic. I mean, Papers, Please itself was, of course, in a way very political in the way it, you know, uh, approached, well, basically approached the Soviet Union through sort of an abstraction, through kind of making these countries, or depicting these countries, or depicting fictionalized versions of these countries in Eastern Europe. Ah, I'm rambling. So this is not tonight. Let's get started. Now, we can choose a character. Uh, okay. Well... Okay. You know what, yeah, I, I want to play a white guy with an afro. Heritage, you were born in Birmingham, you're from the streets, well, A Street, quite a nice one, really. By the time you went to secondary school, you'd read all of Charles Dickens and most of Shakespeare, much to your English teacher's pleasure and horror. Then the letter. Your citizenship revoked overnight thanks to a Nordic grandfather and a missing immigration form. And, uh, you were born in Bath. Is that really a place? Uh, to a pair of Spanish charity workers, a good child, a quiet child. You helped your parents run a seaside retirement home and became quite the expert on cider. Yeah, I imagine. When they died, you were to continue their legacy. Then the letter came. These days, birth no longer confers citizenship. Officially, you are too considered Spanish, except, unfortunately, in Spain. London to Santa Babels. Yeah, that's kind of a thing of the game. Like, in this version of Britain, they are discriminating European immigrants. Whatever is kind of weird, because if you look at their, you know, the real far right in Europe, it's not so much their fellow Europeans that they hate, they're much more people from, you know, the Middle East and from Africa. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously the Britons have their hang-ups about Europe, continental Europe too, so sure, whatever. I just sort of think that it's, you know, missing an, an opportunity to actually talk about white supremacy. But whatever. Uh, I still remain hopeful that this game approaches this political commentary well. Because I like to approach things optimistically, so yeah, I'm gonna be a Spaniard. Albion, first New Year's Eve ball, the British Museum, London, England, December... Th not so fast. Albion first, I see. Okay, so uh, it's a point and click adventure, so we are gonna point and click. Britain alone, one year. Well, let's talk to our boss. Ah, the Eurobombs are graces out of their presence. Sure, no rush. The New Year's Eve ball is only the most important event of the year. Well, get your things. Choppy chop, no worky, no money. Understood. Understood, sir. Okay, so... 
Yeah, it's a point and click adventure game. I sort of like the pixel art. We can equip items here. We have items now. Click the clicker to allow entry into the venue. Okay. I, I clicked the clicker. I'll use the radio to stay in contact, that's fine. Can we talk to our boss again? Because I would like to do that. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Understood, sir. I gotta be perfectly honest with you, I don't really play a lot of point and click at Oh! We are now open, ticket holders only, no ticket, no entry. Well, as it so happens, we have a ticket. Here you go. Yeah. And by check, you mean... Wait. Select Q, yeah, I did that. I just don't quite... I think Ah, I get it So, right, if they have a ticket, I can let them in So, basically, yeah uh, it's papers, please. Golden ticket, Monday. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I was just following orders, and by following orders I mean, um, yeah. Why am I so confused by this? This is not a particularly difficult game. So yeah, I'll take this in order. Yep, looks right to me. Well, maybe we let someone in we shouldn't have let in. Because the game's kind of going all V for Vendetta on us. Which really wasn't all that good of a game, all things considered. A game? No, movie. It wasn't that great a movie. Which is a weird thing to bring up, except it isn't, because like thematically it's very much related to this game. Okay, so that's our apartment. I'd kinda hate to live here. But then I hate to live in that world in general. Euro Heritage Resident number 112, block 13, flat 7. Okay. Well, okay. Let's open it. Resident 112, level 14, flat 7, Department of Euro Aliens. Euro Aliens. Person of Euro Heritage. Welcome to relocation block B. Your, res your residence request has been rejected. Find and close your transitional residence visa. To maintain transitional residence status, earn £2,500 by January the 31st. My designated job is bouncer. It's sort of weird to have that as an official job designation, you know. Integration officer Jep, Jep, Jep will contact you. He will arrange a site visit to help you with your orientation and expulsion. Isn't that just lovely? What do I have in my bag? Transitional residence visa, I see. Well then, I have a phone. A broken phone. It's firewall tracking, contacting home. Okay. So does it work, or 
Hello. So what do I have? The news? Politics? I hate politics. <laughs> Albion First Leader Simon Taverner has hit back at critics of his Britain Alone policy. The simple fact is that in these difficult times Britain must look after her own. Despite protests, residents' requests continue to be rejected, with officials currently targeting persons of European heritage with fewer than two generations of citizenship or earning under £30,000 a year. Extraditions begin this month. Oh. I see. No jobs. That's great. There are no jobs. I know. Uh, okay. It's slightly more complex than Papers, Please, as in not quite a self ex Oh, we got a message from our boss, Officer Chip. Listen close, fresh mate. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, be coming by on Thursday to explain a few things. That's how British people talk, you see. <laughs> you want to start a job by then, or this will be a short French... I, ca I can't do the accent. Earn your keep, don't cause trouble, maybe we'll even let you stay. Maybe. Fantastic. Well then, that seems to be about all we can do right here. Department of Euro Aliens. Yeah, we already read that. We have some new news in politics too. The post-Brexit rise of Albion First continues to take established politics by storm. Albion First founder and Prime Minister Simon Tavener has proven his, abil proven his ability to unite right-wing elements of Conservative and Labour support under his flag, ultimately establishing a coalition government under the Britain Alone flag. Despite the social upheaval of the last few weeks, post-Brexit malaise has only increased the level of support for the Tavener agenda. Albion First hopes the upcoming election will cement this new progressive future. Doesn't sound very progressive to me, but then... <laughs> Right, the king's head. I have a job there. I'm gonna take the job. It's such a weird thing that apparently, like, the government gives bouncer jobs to illegal immigrants. I mean, in the sense that... You know, it's such a weird thing for the government, of all things, to handle. Right, the king's head. Regular speed, stay stubborn. It is until the new receive ball. Hey mate, you're the new bouncer, yeah? Cool, cool. I'm Dave Pleasure. Should be a pretty quiet night. Coffee's keeping most of my regulars at home. Should find things pretty simple. Check IDs on the door, make sure everyone is over 18. Okay. Let them five customers, you get paid. Let them more, you could get a bonus, got it. Yes. Goodo. Well, get on with it. Let's see here. Oh, that's some kind of disco dancing metal. A disco... Great. I should stop doing the accents. I know it's probably unintentionally offensive. To the British. But I can't help myself. We are now open over 18s only, so if that's the only thing to uh, look out for, okay. Well then, 1988, what's the date? I think that's something that deserves to be, oh right, 18, so, yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. You can go in. Um, well, yeah, 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 you can go in too. 1984, that's fine. Uh, 1990, yep, that's alright. Anya Stevens, 1974, alright. Well, no one trying to sneak in illegally as it seems, 1985, that's fine too. Nineteen ninety-six wait a minute, nineteen ninety-six. No, that's fine. 
Oh, great. 1992, all right, please. You're a filthy foreigner. We don't let you in. Fair. Should have been allowed entry. No, she was a foreigner. We don't let her kind. You get in. But okay, okay, okay. Uh, 1988. Sure. Dutch woman. Go in. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Alright. Alright, 1996. That should be... Yeah, of course it is. I mean, it's 2018. People who were born in 2000 or 18 by now. It's just that I keep thinking... You know, I was born 1993, and I still feel like I just turned 18. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. Get in. Nineteen ninety eight, yes, of course. Yep. You know, it's kind of boring if literally everyone gets to come in. We're closing already, really? Yeah, I could have done better. Did I already mention that I really like the pixel art? It's, it's good pixel art. It, it looks nice. So, I mean, this was basically the tutorial, so I don't really expect it to be very challenging. Honestly, I feel sorry for you, Euro folks. My plumber was a Polish chap. Good bloke. Cheap too. You know, I'm from... Anyway, another job tomorrow if you're up for it. Look out for it in Bouncer. No scram, okay? That's how British people talk. So, we got some money. What do we spend it on? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I had to answer the door. The mailman was there. He brought a package. I'm sure you'll find this very interesting. So let's resume. Oh yeah, first job is complete. We can go to bed now. So what do we actually spend our money on? We got a text message from our probation officer. Earn you keep on Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey, your friendly neighborhood officer here. Started on Bouncer yet? Getting it away with regular honest folks? Job you Euros were born for, really? I'm coming to visit tomorrow. Tidy up. You know, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Or maybe I shouldn't because that guy can fuck himself. So, yeah, active and complete, the king's heads. I mean, we could skip... No, I don't think we could. Upgrade? Really? What can I upgrade? Standard issue clicker, click to allow entry into establishment. Rest free clicker, V2. So, uh, well, how much is it? Like, how much would that cost? Notepads... Well, it seems like I can't buy upgrades quite yet, so, yeah. Well, so I'm just kind of heading off to work, I guess. Don't have any optional things to do. What's that? My visa? Okay. I, yeah. Well, then, just continue doing our work, I suppose. I was just kind of wondering if there's anything else that I could do, you know? So, back to the king's head. I mean, at least the owner seems to be a nice guy. Glad to have you around, friend. Look at us, Brits and Euros, working together in harmony. Might you want to weep. But I'm... Yeah. Real unity. Right. Turns out we've got a problem with expired ideas. Keep impaled. Your eyes, not the IDs. Don't peel the IDs. 
Oh, I keep watching for the underage. Expired and these, expired IDs and rage, no problem. Oh, cheer up. Complete free jobs for me. I might even make you head bouncer. It's not just a title either. You get double pay and a few special benefits. So just like everywhere else. Oh, I guess. But why would you want to work elsewhere? Don't answer that. And I'll keep doing the accent. I, I know it'll annoy people, but I'll, I'll keep doing the accent. So yeah, expert IDs and age. No expert IDs, so right, only one ten in tonight. That should be easy. If any customers are gonna come. Oh, it does seem that way. So, over 18, May, yeah, that's alright. December, over 18, that's alright too. They're making it easy on me. Uh, yep. Uh, alright. Okay. I mean, so far, not really any more challenging than it was before. Okay. Okay. Oh, looks like a soccer team is coming in. Yep. Um. Yeah. Come on. Are they really all legit? I find that hard to believe. 1997, okay. I mean, I'm sure this is gonna get harder later on, but come on, give me a chance. You're expired, go away. Yeah, you can go home. That one's okay. Uh, okay. Well, at least they're all old enough to drink. Nope, that was legit too. No, go away. Yep. And he... No, no. Scram. Because you're too young. Because no, you're not too young. Because your ID has expired. Also, what was wrong with the character design? Uh, no, you're alright. Come in. Uh, you're alright too. Well, I think we did some decent work today. So maybe we get promoted to head bouncer now. Now that'd be a great accomplishment. Hey mate. Great start, Euro. I'm glad I chose you. Well, did you click the job advert anyway? Oh, I see. Oh, still only a bee. A few more good jobs and I'll be looking at my new head doorman. I'm honored. I'm also being sarcastic. So, you know. This game is called Not Tonight. It's a bit like Papers, Please, only with... I guess you could say a slightly more elaborate story. So, yeah. It's a bit like Papers, Please. And I guess for many people that alone would be a selling point, because Papers, Please was a really good game. I sort of liked the simplicity of Papers, Please, because you were basically just a guy at a desk. Where in this one, you know, it's... It's a bit more elaborate in terms of presentation and in terms of setup. But I think it mostly manages to capture the same... 
the same sort of feeling to it. Now, I don't know just if it'll have the same sense of moral ambiguity that Papers, Please had later on, but I do hope so. But it seems like there's certainly the potential there to tell a pretty good story and then have to... and have some interesting things going on, to say the very least. So, uh, I'm looking forward to playing more of this. I probably won't record any more of this because it's not the most exciting game to actually watch someone else play. But, uh, you know, like, you know, consider this a careful recommendation, I guess. Like, it looks fine. It looks fine. So as you all know, I'm your chairman of the board, and this was not tonight. I would have absolutely hated to get the name of the game wrong now. Uh, I'll be seeing you whenever I next decide to record myself playing a video game. So, I'll be seeing you then. Ciao!